Hi, I'm Tessa from Tales from Outside the Classroom, and today I'm going to share with you how you can use Google Docs to create mind maps with your students. This is the second video in my installment of using Google Docs in your classroom. So first, um, we're going to go to this red create box where we can create um, different types of documents. So um, drawing is similar to PowerPoint, um, spreadsheets is uh, similar to Excel, um, and here is connect more apps. And here we can see uh, some of the apps that are available through Google and through Chrome. And so I'm going to type in mind map. And I'm going to choose this Mind Meister one. Um, I've played around with it a little bit and I like it the best. So I'm going to connect. So now it's the default for files of this type, but you don't have to choose that. Um, and now it's back in here. So I'm going to go back to Create, and this time I'm going to choose Mind Map. And this very nice, um, well, first, you have to accept the terms, but this very nice backdrop comes up for you so that you have a blank slate to work with your students. Of course, it's being slow right now. Um, here we go. Okay, so uh, you can, of course, upgrade and, and pay for some uh, additional features. I'm just going to use the basic settings right now. So I'm going to um, call this um, Our City. And so that's the center. I want to add a new idea to it, so I'm going to click this plus sign, and it automatically comes up. Our city is in Indiana. Now if I click this again, it's going to um, add to that. I can just take it away. So I'm going to come back here and, and add to that. Our city um, is on Lake Michigan. Our city is... I'm going to click on it. Um, our city is... Um, large. And then I can come over here and change some of the features. So I can change the text just by clicking on it. I don't know, that green was kind of really hard to see that it changed, but you can see that that, that changed as well. Um, I can bold my text up here. I can make uh, certain ones bigger if I wanted to. Um, I could change the uh, way each one is set up. So I could change that one also to be the same as that. Um, so it gives you a bunch of features to change to, to kind of personalize it. This would be a great tool uh, with, to use with your students as you're introducing a new topic to see what they know, to create a mind map, um, to visualize their their existing knowledge. There are also some icons you can add. Um, of course, you know, it, it's up to you how much you want to use those with your students. Um, and I can't quite seem to get that icon around, away right now. Um, so I, I can have, show that as being completed. Um, I can assign it to myself. Um, and if you've set up some other settings in in Google Docs, you could assign it to students. You could give it a due date as well. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these features, um, but I am going to show you a couple things. So I can download or export this as well as print it. I'm going to click this um, download export button. And so I can export it as the type of file it currently is, um, or I can, I can change it if I upgrade. I can um, export it as a Word file or a PowerPoint file, but I could also do a PDF or an image, which for me, that's about all I would need. So our students can go here and use this tool um, and then print out the PDF, or they can export it to Google Drive. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So it's going to automatically go to my Google Drive account. When I go back to Google Drive, I can see here that it has come up. So then I am able to share this link with my students, um, and they're able to see it. So I'm going to click on it um, so we can see what it looks like again. Um, that I, I take this link, and they can come right here. Um, I can also um, share this link by going to More Share um, and email it out. 
uh, this is just one idea of how you can use the mind maps in your classroom. I'd love to hear um, if you use mind maps in other ways or if you found other software that's very easy to use.